I'm uh, James Williams and uh, this is Chimes of Media. The subject we're going to talk about is uh, anti-Semitism and the rise of anti-Semitism in Britain in particular. The Labour leader, the Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn has been under fire because of the anti-Semitism problem that's uh, got into the Labour Party. A BBC report has said that Jeremy Corbyn is seeking an urgent meeting with Jewish leaders to discuss their concerns about the rise of anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. They say that in, in his most detailed rejection of anti-Jewish prejudice, uh, the Labour leader says newer forms of anti-Semitism have been woven into criticism of Israeli governments. Criticism of Israel, particularly in relation to the continuing dispossession of the Palestinian people, cannot be avoided, he said. Nevertheless, comparing Israel or the actions of Israeli governments to the Nazis, attributing criticisms of Israel to Jewish characteristics or to Jewish people in general, and using abusive phraseology about support of Israel, such as Zio, all constitute aspects of contemporary anti-Semitism. Now, Zio, I think, means a Zionist. Now, we look at a, um, a Guardian published report, and this is uh, in January 2018, reported that anti-Semitic incidents in the UK are at an all-time high. Uh, charity logs, 1,382 hate incidents and 34% rise in violent assaults against Jewish people in 2017. It goes on to say, anti-Semitic hate incidents have reached a record level in the UK with the Jewish community targeted at a rate of nearly four times a day. This is a PDF file from the Home Office, a graph here showing that till 2012 anti-Semitism was on, on the fall, it was declining steadily. And then from, there was a change in the recording method, methodology uh, in 2013. In 2014, again, it was adjusting itself. That's why it's a little dip, but it's been on a steady increase. And this graph just goes to 2016. Well, if we look at this next table, it shows you that, uh, and it explains that little anomaly on the methodology down at the bottom. So there were 1,382 anti-Semitic incidents recorded nationwide in 2017 by the Community Security Trust. This was the highest tally that the Trust, a charity that monitors anti-Semitism, has registered for a calendar year since it began gathering such data in 1984. The figure rose by 3% compared with the total in 2016 of 1,346 incidents, a tally that itself was a record annual total. There was no obvious single cause behind the trend, the Trust said. Often increases in anti-Semitic incidents have been attributable to reactions to specific trigger events that cause identifiable short-term spikes in incidence levels. However, this was not the case in 2017. It, instead, it appears that the factors that led to a general sustained high level of anti-Semitic incidents in 2016 continued throughout much of 2017. The report pointed to a rise in all forms of hate crime following the EU referendum, as well as publicity surrounding alleged anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. These factors may have caused higher levels of incidents, as well as encouraged more reporting of anti-Semitic incidents from victims and witnesses in the Jewish community. The trust figures showed a 34% increase in the number of violent anti-Semitic assaults from 108 in 2016 to 145 in 2017. The most common single type of incident in 2017 involved verbal abuse randomly directed at Jewish people in public. There was a fall in the number of incidents that involved social media from 289 in 2016 to 247 last year. Three quarters of all the anti-Semitic incidents were recorded in Greater London and Greater Manchester, 
home to the two largest Jewish communities in the UK. Uh, and also pretty large communities of Muslims there as well. And if you look at across the, the globe everywhere, not just in Britain, in Europe as well, uh, Sweden's had a lot of problems with synagogues being attacked uh, and the number of Jews I believe are living or staying, choosing to stay and live in uh, Sweden has fallen. Many of them have um, left the country. I'd like to say fled the country. But no, nowhere in the Guardian report or the BBC report or any other report is there any mention of Islamism. The Labour Party has had quite a number of uh, members of its members uh, their belief is Muslim. Uh, and there's, a, there's been a centuries-long feud with, uh, between Islam and Judaism. Uh, they're like sworn enemies to each other. It, it, I mean, and to ignore the, the factor that, and I do suspect that because sometimes the, it, they do say that the recording is, has changed, but there is a certain amount of um, suspected suppression of data gathering at source. Uh, there have been a number of cases in the past, for example, uh, when there's been anti-white uh, racism and it's not been recorded as such. I remember a few years back in Glasgow, I think it was, when a, uh, a white boy was set alight uh, by some black youths and they were calling him all sorts of racist epitaphs and uh, it was not recorded as a racial crime, even though it clearly was from the language used. So yeah, there's a certain amount of uh, suppression of data. They're very reluctant to mention that the uh, anti-Semitism uh, is in any way related to, to anti-Jewish hatred from the Muslim community. David Deleu said, Hatred is rising and Jewish people are suffering as a result. This should concern everybody because it shows anger and division that threaten all of society. We have the support of government and police, but prosecutions need to be more visible and more frequent. Home Secretary Amber Rudd said anti-Semitism was a despicable form of abuse which had absolutely no place in British society. Now, we don't see much happening like doing raids on uh, hate preachers in the Islamic community, do we? we? They're quite happy to go and raid Tommy Robinson's house. but they were, So her words are kind of empty when they won't go to the source of the problem. Amber Rudd said, I welcome this report's findings that the rise in reported incidents partly reflects the improving response to these horrendous attacks and better information sharing between the CST and police forces around the UK, but even one incident is one too many, and any rise in incidents is clearly concerning, which is why this government will continue its work protecting the Jewish community and other groups from anti-Semitism and hate crime. The Shadow Communities Secretary, Andrew Gwynn, said the findings were extremely concerning and emphasised just how important it is that we all make a conscious effort to call out and confront anti-Semitism. A spokesperson for advocacy group Hope Not Hate said the levels of anti-Semitism remained unacceptably high and it was concerning to see that instance had not declined. You see, all these comments are all sort of, it's terrible, it's terrible, awful, we, we will not stand for it. They won't identify the actual problem. You know, they want to go and say it's right wing groups doing it. But, you know, there may be some right wing people who want to go and do nasty things to Jews. But they are not the ones who are doing it, are they? You know, why can't they just say it? Stephen Silverman, Director of Investigations and Enforcement of the Campaign Against Antisemitism, said the trust figures were indicative of official 2017 police statistics. Anti-Semitic crime has been rising dramatically since 2014 and that rise is not explained by an increase in reporting and we have seen no noticeable impact from Brexit, he said. Oh, somebody who actually spoke a little bit of sense there, as if Brexit's got anything to do with hating Jews. Silverman added, 
we believe that Jews are being singled out disproportionately and with increasing violence due to the spread of anti-Semitic conspiracy myths originating from Islamists. The far left and far right, which society is failing to address as evidenced by the ongoing disgraceful situation in the Labour Party and because the Crown Prosecution Service declines to prosecute so often that anti-Semites no longer fear any consequence to their actions. Until the criminal justice system and political parties stopped paying lip service to anti-Semitism, he said, the threat to the security of British Jews was at risk of reaching crisis point. I wonder if it's actually going to go past this so-called crisis point. Uh, new data this week revealed that hundreds of hate crimes have been committed at or near schools and colleges in the last two years, most linked to race and ethnicity. Now, just to go across the uh, channel to France, and just one country, our neighbour neighbor country, France, and here there is a picture of what the French have been putting up with for at least as long as Britain has. Is although synagogues in France have not been attacked since 2014, they are all guarded around the clock by armed soldiers in bulletproof vests who are protected behind sandbags, as are Jewish schools and cultural centres. Well, that's why they haven't been attacked. You're not going to attack when someone got a machine gun there, are you? So, meanwhile, laws meant to punish anti-Semitic threats so, meanwhile, laws meant to punish anti-Semitic threats are now used to punish those who denounce the threats. Now, isn't that just what Douglas Murray was saying when he said they don't deal with the primary problem, they go for the secondary problem. They don't go for the, court, the actual ones doing the crimes and the offences, they go for the people who complain about it because they're easy targets. Are they a bunch of cowards or is this a conspiracy? Because this is going on across the world, all this stuff, not just with anti-Semitism. You know, every Western country, if you can call it, and including Australia in this, having immigration problems all simultaneously. And all these ridiculous clamp down laws are happening at the same time. Does it not give a hint that there's some coordination of something going on here? Could it be to do with something to do like Agenda 21 or Agenda 2030? Is it the United Nations involved in this? Well, there are people out there know more than I do about it. I wonder what they have to say. Thanks for watching and take care of yourselves. See you next time.